Welcome to Koh Rong, a stunning island on the west coast of Cambodia, renowned for its crystal clear waters, powdery white sand, and laid back vibe. As one of the top travel destinations in Cambodia, this video is going to uncover all of its secrets. <laughs> Hello everyone! Don't forget to hit subscribe and let's jump into paradise. We are starting off on the famous 4K beach, which you guessed it, is because it is four kilometers long and our hostel we're staying at, a bit of a party hostel called Nest Beach Club. It's got a really, really famous event every week called Nestival that we are gonna show you as well. But this place is absolutely stunning. This beach is really quiet and we're just gonna have a little mooch along it to start. Really pretty, you've got crystal clear blue waters, really fine white sandy sand. And it literally looks like the Maldives. That's what everyone always says, this place is like, Cambodia's Maldives and I can see why. When we arrived yesterday, it was like, we actually gasped out loud. It was so beautiful. Look at that. We are just on our way into the main town here in Koh Rong. So we've literally had a full day of literally sunbathing and getting drunk, which seems to be pretty much the most of what there is to do on this island however we want to go out and explore a little bit today and show you guys the main town area if there's any nice food some nice places to drink we were planning on going on a boat trip but it's really windy today so that was been cancelled and it's not going on again until next week so we were like that's fine so we'll go out and we'll see what the main town's all about and it's a different beach than the one we're staying on as well so to get from 4k beach to the main town you have to walk through this little jungly area and it takes about half an hour it's actually pretty hard to get around this island in general they've now built one road and we just tried to hire bikes but there weren't enough bikes for us all so we were like we'll just walk you pretty much have to trek everywhere here and it pretty much takes half an hour to get anywhere <laughs> <laughs> You've also got loads of junk or little huts and accommodations as you walk along, as you walk through, so that'd be an interesting stay. So, another beach, as you can see today, the waves are super choppy and they've had to keep even all these like blow up activities they've had to like take off of the water so it's been pretty treacherous when we've been sunbathing we've been getting sand all in our face today bit of bad luck but i'd rather us wind than it be raining and it's still paradise right so we have made it to the main beach or the town look at it it's absolutely bloody stunning <laughs> Say hello. Yeah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hello. What's your bar called? Uh, Ocean Blue Bar. Ocean Blue one. Yeah. Ocean Blue Bar. Ocean Blue Bar. Oh. It's all, it's all the camera that naughty word you just told me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I cannot say that word. It's in YouTuber. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you do beer? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get one beer? Yeah. <laughs> Especially fresh beer. Have you got the best pizza on the island? Yeah. Yes. Test it, then you know. <laughs> it's true. Everyone said about that. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> what you gonna do? One dollar beers, that's what's happening. This thing of beauty. A cold, crisp, refreshing beer in a refrigerated glass. Jolly mate. And this is our view right now. Apparently, the best pizza on the island. I will be the judge of that. It looks pretty good. It does look, sometimes you get pizza and you're like, mm, but it looks, it's like a proper, like a proper pizza oven. It's like a proper good pizza, man. It's hot, give me a sec. Oh, that cheese 
Nine. Really good. Out of ten? Nine. The main beach is exactly how you'd expect. A really long stretch of white sand, beautiful turquoise water, and then all along the edge, it's just different resorts, restaurants to eat at, little beach bars, and it's just got a really chilled out, rustic kind of vibe to it compared to like other places. Hotel, yeah, sure. very hotel, but it's really underdeveloped compared to Thailand, I think. It's still like really rustic, and it's got like a really nice charm to it. Now we're heading back to our hostel nest where we're probably just gonna lie there and drink beer so probably not gonna be that interesting but we will take you along on our day tomorrow we've got a special event to show you. Before we jump into the craziness of tomorrow let's quickly show you around our hostel. We're staying at Nest which is the main party hostel on the island. We're in an eight bed dorm which wouldn't usually be our choice but as we have five friends from home joining us this week for Christmas we opted to all be in the same room. It cost us $13 a night and I have to say the accommodation was very basic. Only one shower worked, there was no locks on the doors and the hostel staff often came into our room to use the toilet and do their makeup, which was very strange. But I guess you get what you paid for. We actually had an unreal time at this hostel, mostly for the party vibe and beautiful beach it's located on. Whether we recommend it is whether you would sacrifice comfort for a good time. Anyway, back onto the good stuff. Nestival, baby! Day 146 million, getting drunk and sunbathing on Koh Rong. Today is the big day, it is the Nestival, which literally people come, they plan Apparently their- Apparently it sold out Glastonbury. Ha ha. People literally plan their trip to come for this day. It happens every Saturday and it's like a big festival that happens at our hostel Nest. And we're gonna go and show you around for today, film as much as you can without getting too drunk. <laughs> Things are starting to warm up now, so we've got just the usual people who stay in the nest sat along the beach. Our mate George, who we've met, who you might have seen earlier on in this video, is on the DJ decks warming and set up. You have to buy tokens to get beers and we're just getting ready for, hopefully, a messy one. We haven't got a team though, are we actually not going to play the games, guys? I don't know. I want to play the games. Yeah. I want someone, everyone's a bit hungover, a few people went out really late Plenty last night. Play. I reckon some people play. Some people might play games, but it's better, yeah, it's going to kick off soon. Before we knew it, the beach was full of people, everyone was getting UV paint on them, and the atmosphere was buzzing. Hello, my name's Kjordar. I'm on holidays here with Yaz and Abby, big follower. We've been recently just playing a game, um, what do you want to call a game? Uh, a sack race. A sack race. We won, of course, <laughs> and now we're going on to play tug of war. We'll see you there. Very hard. We lost yeah, we easily. Lost, yeah. So badly. Yeah, we probably had too many beers before the start of the game, haven't we? But oh well. <laughs> Next up, we had Flip Cup, which if you weren't drunk before, then you definitely were now. <laughs> the party was now in full flow. DJs were playing on the beach, the sun started to set, and they set the fireworks off.
I don't know where all the time went, but before we knew it, it was 2am and we were still chilling on the beach chatting to our friends. Probably one of our favourite drinking days from the past seven months. Koh Rong was awesome guys and definitely a highlight for us in Cambodia. I'm not sure how well I captured it as we were kind of on a holiday at the same time too, but if you like beautiful beaches and fun nightlife, then you'll love it. This is also our final week in Cambodia. We love travelling this country. The highlights had to be exploring its complicated history, spending nights with the locals at Khun Khmer and living the true backpacker life in Koh Rong. If you've enjoyed this series and don't forget to hit subscribe, like, share and comment, all of this is such a big support and helps keep us on the road. Next series is going to be a big one, a place that has been on our bucket list for years. I am so excited, so watch out for that one.